Up to 15 hammerhead sharks have been spotted within the flagged area of Palm Beach in Sydney, forcing authorities to shut down the popular swimming spot. Joining me now is New South Wales Agriculture Minister Dougald Saunders. Good morning to you, Minister. How are you this morning? Janie, very well. Nice to talk to you and Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. Not a great uh, a day on the beach yesterday. Those sharks were spotted, I believe, around 200 metres from the flag area. Do we know if the beach is open today? Yeah, look, as far as I'm aware, the beach is fully open today. It was open within an hour of the, of the actual sharks being there. Uh, my information is there were 10 hammerhead sharks. And look, it's not unusual behaviour, to be fair. These sharks were chasing bait fish. That's what they do. Um, and at this time of year, that's exactly the sort of activity we expect. What we do know now, though, is that we can see them far more easily, far more often, far more quickly, because we have drones in the sky at virtually every beach up and down the coast, including at Palm Beach. And that's how the sharks were spotted yesterday. So very quickly, uh, all the swimmers and board riders were alerted. The beach was cleared. And then within an hour, people were back in the water as the sharks were herded off with a jet ski. All right, and we're also hearing reports of Life Saving New South Wales has spotted more than 180 in the last 12 months following more than 32,000 flights. And they say it's not really considered a big number. You mentioned also drones, so it's much easier for, for authorities to spot these sharks. So, you know, a lot of people don't like seeing sharks in the water, but according to authorities and yourself, it's not really considered a huge number in and around where we do swim. Well, at least we can actually see them and see where they actually are now. And it's all part of our $86 million program over the next four years around shark mitigation. So it includes everything from the Shark Smart app, which you can have in your phone, in your pocket as you head to your favourite beach, uh, the listening stations up and down the coast that plug into that, and there's 37 of them, the meshing and the smart drum lines. We've got over 300 smart drum lines up and down the coast uh, and the drones themselves that all form part of our mitigation process. What we know, though, is that being able to actually detect, see and report on where sharks are keeps people safer. So, so actually seeing the sharks means that we know where they are. We can move them along with jet skis. We can wait till they're gone and then very safely get people back in the water again. And the drone pilots we have with Surf Life Saving New South Wales are incredible. We're doing some more testing with larger drones that will have longer flying times, have even better cameras and be able to see quite some distance through the water uh, and also working on artificial intelligence so that these drones will fly patterns over beaches, look for, uh, I guess, images that look like sharks, report back, and then the humans can do that sort of detection from there. So everything we're doing is all about keeping people safe. It's incredible technology, isn't it? Uh, hammerheads are considered to be harmless to humans, apart from the great hammerhead, but um, pretty rare the attacks across uh, the country. Of course, we don't want any attacks at all. But uh, as you said, with all of this technology, hopefully it will get to zero. Yeah, look, I think p people are actually uh, in some ways feeling slightly more secure in the fact that we know when a shark is near them in the water and they can get out of the water. So, yeah, hammerhead sharks aren't really thought to be a, a huge danger for swimmers. But I think everyone's slightly uncomfortable thinking there's a shark right next to them in the water. So we're doing everything we can to mitigate that as much as possible. And look, the drones are such a significant part of that, given the training that's been done. But we've done training with board riders as well. And there's some simple messaging for all swimmers and board riders, apart from actually keeping yourself alive by swimming within the flags, given there's a lot of rips around at the moment. It's also about swimming not at dusk and at dawn, not swimming when the, the water around you is murky or has a lot of nutrient in it, not swimming when there are a lot of fish around and always swimming with at least one friend or surfing with at least one friend. So you've always got somebody with you and all of the training we've done with board riding clubs up and down the coast has been significant around being first responders and helping if something ever did go wrong. Uh, so we're doing everything we can and it's, it's fantastic weather to be out and about at the beach at the moment, but you do need to do it smartly, sensibly and safely. Yep, you're absolutely spot on there because it's not only about us, it's about the authorities. And, and we have to remember that we are heading into the Sharks' territory. That is their home and we're entering it. So, uh, yeah, keeping to the flags and, as you mentioned, that you're looking at the apps and doing the right thing. Hopefully we'll be able to enjoy this uh, beautiful summer. Thank you so much, New South Wales Agriculture Minister Dougal Saunders. Joni Seal, thank you very much. Have a good day. You